the other thing I could do is uh, lines. Now that's not too bad. I kind of like that. I like it better like that. That gives me an idea. I can just put a few lines, but that's not bad. Okay, I wanted to just do a first video on how I look at a painting and this is a 12 by 12 canvas and when I put my um, paint down and my designs and I'm trying to work through a scenario of what I might want to do next one of the things I do is I use these plastic sheets and you just get them at the um, you know, Staples or Walmart or Target or Amazon. I can put a link below to the Amazon. I'll, I'll put uh, a link where I got mine. And then I paint some of my favorite designs. Now the color may be a little bit different than what I may use. Um, but it's kind of just to take me to the next step of what I think I might like to do. So for instance, on this one, I just put a nice, and there's a glare because it is a shiny, I put a nice big, kind of like a yellow, it's kind of a um, Indian yellow. In fact, it is, it's a deep yellow by Matisse. This jar has been well used, it's almost gone. Need to get more. And I might put a big yellow, circular design right there on the painting. This allows me to move around the painting, this design, to see if maybe I want to put it over there. I want to put it over here. But I kind of like that. That's, that's nice. It's a good shape. It's a good size. It's a different shape than some of the other markings I have. The yellow kind of goes. You know, of course, I could pick a different color. Um, I have a bigger shape in the white, so that kind of gives it an idea if the bigger shape would work. In fact, I do like the bigger shape. Might change the color, might go back to the yellow. Might, uh, I kind of like the, the minimalistic of the other marks, so I might keep this uh, the lighter um, circular, but that's not bad. And then if I didn't want a circular mark, what if I wanted a mark that was, and I don't quite like that. It just fights with that color over there. But a lot of times I will put a big stroke like this on my painting, so I'm glad that I have the opportunity to see what it looks like before I actually do the stroke. There it is in the yellow, and I can even bring it off. That's not too bad if I want to bring it off, but all this is going off the canvas, so I'm not quite sure I like that. Then the other thing I could do is uh, lines. Now that's not too bad, I kind of like that. I like it better like that, that gives me an idea. I can just put a few lines, but that's not bad. Of course, this is a line here, so I may want something a little bit more chaotic. So let's keep trying. So here's, ooh, I like that. That kind of gives it a different look than some of the other things I have on there. It doesn't really take away, uh, kind of just keeps the eye flowing. So it's just another another design to look at. Here's a very chaotic one. And, um, but I like, I like this better. So it kind of gives me some choices here. All right. And then if I wanted to go with 
All right, so then if I wanted to um, add a mark, there it is in the very light color. If I still wanted to keep with the um, design over here being the major design and that being a uh, design, you know, some more texture within that, the very light, quiet um, space. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I think what I am liking the most is this design right here. So I'm going to do a couple more and um, show you what I'm thinking of and why I'm doing this. But I think you get the idea that this just helps with looking at your painting and adding um, a design to it or a color without actually having to paint on it and paint take it off. So I hope that was helpful. Okay, here's another one. And it is, it's got different shades. What I did is I put a very thick um, medium on here and I can link it below just to give it its peaks. Um, there's a lot of mediums like crackle paste and molding paste. Um, this is a very heavy molding paste I put on here. And then I just added some mixed media on here and a little bit of copper. But this is another one. I'm keeping it minimalistic, but I'm trying to decide what my next move will be, what my next mark will be. So since these are lines and I kind of maybe just want something here, I'm going to grab and let's see, I could put a big black mark by using my plastic so I can kind of see if I want to do I'm not liking that um, if I want to go more of a scribbly and I don't know that's not striking here's one of the same marks I used a minute ago that's not too bad if I had a great big one to kind of just keep with the line still not not making me a happy here's some that's not too bad just keeping the lines so that's a possibility then um, if I want to go with some circular now not necessarily the color but that's not too bad it's a I like the size of that right there not not too too um, too far off that one I think is too small even in a black you know, or if you want to have two, but too much. So that's not too bad of a, it's a solid um, circular. So, you know, I actually, you know, I could go with something like that with some lines. Or have the lines behind it. So that's an idea, something like that. But I think I still like the minimalistic look here so then another idea is to keep the um, pattern very open so yeah, I like that and actually I like I like the contrast of keeping with the metallics so this is a um, a metallic background there's some copper in there and then a gold on the top I do a lot of my pieces of artwork so what I may do is if I like that, I may put a gradation up here a little bit more, make this a little bit more gold, bring it down a little bit, add that. I like that. I like the circular, I like the simplicity, still minimalistic. I do think I wanna bring, I like the gold, I think I might wanna bring a little bit more of this gold in on the top to kinda of just, uh, give that gold some more anchoring so that's an idea okay here's one more 
Now this one, I might have to do another layer of white on here to brighten it up now that I'm looking at it, but I need something else. And I like, again, that these are pieces that are the minimalistic pieces. So I'm gonna grab my, um, I don't know what you call them, whatever it is, my, my little helpers. But if I were to choose like another circle to go on top that's no, just not working for me it's even if that were a different color and the middle was uh, more open like the the gold one here not too bad but it takes away from what I'm doing um, so even uh, a large swath which I love these large swaths just takes away so let me go into some of my line drawings. Just too much, too much, too much. Um, here's a more open one. I like that better than anything I've done so far, but I'm not there. That's not too bad. It's everything else in here is circular. And there and then there's that swatch. So that might be that might be something I could work with. Let's see what else do I have in my pile. Here's the large lines. Again, if I just used a couple, not not uh, not standing out for me here. Um, that takes it a little different direction because that's about the same size as my big circle. So if I did a little squiggle down here, that might work. Then I did a sheet here of a whole bunch of smaller marks that kind of help. So I can kind of just, I, mean, I don't have to do anything with that. These little marks here, that might not be too bad. Just a couple of those, maybe right down there. So, so far, if I were to do anything, I might add a couple of these marks. It was the same one, same idea as when I, I grabbed that one. So I'm kind of leaning toward marks that are the circular. And then I grabbed this one, which is a totally different color. I could do it a couple different ways. Let's see. that's not too bad so I'm kind of liking that although what I may do is move that maybe right here so that's not bad and then I would have to decide what color now if this was a part of a series I would definitely like I did a purple dot series a while back not a while back probably what three weeks ago and so I would make those more circular and make them purple, but the red on there, that's not too bad. It just adds a pop. Um, or I could bring in, I'd have to just play with some different colors. So what would happen at this point, if I really was still uncertain, is I could take one of these sheets, like I did with these red marks, um, when I had another piece I was uncertain about, and I actually would put my marks in the color I was thinking about on one of the sheets to lie down on the uh, piece of artwork and it kind of gave me an idea but I kind of like the two this is bigger than this one even having that way maybe way down there I have two up there and one way down there not too bad so if I um, and the red is kind of like a fun fun pop so these are just ideas that you can do that help take your art to the next level and it just helps expand your inspiration and give you ideas of things you might not think of. So when you're just like sitting there and you're inspired, grab some of these sheets and just put marks on them. And they can be big marks, small marks, 
but it really does help give you an idea when you have a painting of when you're adding to say okay that's way too many circles or I do like having some the circles and the marks on it or I do like the minimalistic look of just three more marks or two more marks so I hope this has been helpful to you the three together and I um, want to do a great big one at some point I have to figure out how to film that make it easier to film where I can um, put them up for you to see but hope this has been helpful and I hope it's been fun and I'd love to see your ideas of what you do